welcome to our channel in this session we will discuss type conversion type conversion is the process of converting one type to another you got it the process of converting one data type into another data type is called type conversion first of all what is the need of type conversion assume an example i plus j here i is an integer identifier j is f r uh, instead of j f f is a floating identifier what is the meaning here you have to perform addition between an integer identifier and floating identifier generally what happen inside a computer means computer needs two different mission instructions two different types of mission instructions for performing the operation why the representation of integer and the representation of floating are different that is the reason two different types of mission instructions are needed to perform addition between not only addition to perform operation between different types of operands then what the compiler do Com compiler simply converts the two operands converts the two operands to same type that means here this is an integer float is also converted into integer or this is an integer integer is also converted into float that means make both as integer or both as float that is the compiler do that is the compiler do here two types of conversions in this we have two types of conversions just now we discussed what are the two types integer is converted into float to make both are similar another one is float is converted into integer so generally the two types of conversions are called implicit conversion and the second one is explicit conversion you understand the meaning implicit implicit in the sense i will explain everyone the first one is implicit conversion that means the conversion done automatically by the compiler the conversion done automatically by the compiler then it is called implicit conversion this implicit conversion another name is coercions okay so what is the main advantage of this implicit conversion in this there is no loss of information no loss of information for example in our example i plus f if i is converted into floating i is converted into floating there is no problem for example my integer variable int a is equal to 3 if you are converting a into 3.0 there is no problem that means lower data types are converted into higher data types automatically by the compiler that is called implicit conversion and in such implicit conversion we have no loss of information no loss of information okay now what is the second one explicit conversion explicit that is the programmer here not the compiler the programmer specially write to convert one data type into another obviously float into integer float is a higher data type i is the integer data type for example if your float variable is 5.3 if you are converted into integer the value is 5 we lost the information we lost the information okay so but this explicit conversion we manually need some syntax for example int a float b assume different cases if you want to convert a floating into integer suppose int c 
C is equal to int of here A is not required right now. C is equal to int of B. This is type casting explicit conversion. You explicitly specify type casting. That means B is converted into integer data type. B is converted into integer data type. This is called type conversion. Now I will write down different type checking rules for implicit conversion. Type checking rule for implicit conversion from, for example, an integer into float. An integer into float. Consider a grammar e tends to num, e tends to num into num, e tends to id, e tends to e1 operand e2. Suppose what are different type checking rules? Simply you can write like this e dot type is equal to integer. Assume e dot type is equal to integer, one data type. What is another data type? My intention is one is integer, another one is float. Now, e dot type is equal to whenever an id is given, now check the symbol table. Check the symbol table. Look up. E is used to check the symbol table for the id. That is whether this id is available in the symbol table or not. If it is available, the lookup function returns the type that is saved in the symbol table. The lookup function returns the type that is already saved in the symbol table. Now, once it receives this type, e dot type is equal to if e1 dot type is equal to integer and e2 dot type is equal to integer that is in the two operands assume e1 is one operand e2 is another operand if e1 type is integer e2 type is integer then what is the type of e the type of e is also integer i think you got it yes if e1 dot type is equal to integer and e2 dot type is equal to float one is integer and another one is float the first one is integer the second one is float then the result is float that is integer and float highest one is float so the result one is float suppose another case is else if e1 dot type is equal to float the first operand is float and e2 dot type is equal to int again the same case one is float second one is operand then what is the result the result is float yes that is other than integer and float if anything is present we note down in the type error we note down in the type error okay this is the type checking rules for this implicit conversion for this implicit conversion Okay, these are the type conversions. Thank you.